Hello there, welcome back to my second channel, welcome back to Jack in the Books. So today I stumbled and tripped and fell into the Waterstones Half Price Hardback Sale. I went in for one book. I had one book in mind that I knew I wanted to get and I left with five. It's a PR disaster, I don't know how this happened, <laughs> but today I thought I would share with you the books that I bought. So first and foremost, I actually vlogged my little trip to Waterstones, so I'll share that with you right now. Cue the montage. Who gives a fuck about my nightmares? Cause I can barely focus when I'm like this And lately 40 wings would be just priceless I wrestle with myself and with my vices But no one gives a fuck about my nightmares But it's nothing you should worry yourself about oh, oh. It's nothing you should worry yourself about oh, oh. And now I'm back home and I have a book haul for you, so let's go. But before we dive into that, I just wanted to let you know that today's video is very kindly brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the go-to platform if you are looking to build a website or an online brand. And it's the first month of the year, it's January 2023, baby. If you've got that resolution to create your business, to build your brand, now is the time to do it, and a website is the perfect way to do so. Head to squarespace.com where you can find a range of amazing templates, which you can then completely customize and make your own. You can use them as the perfect starting point to build something that just exudes you. One tip I have for like building your online brand is to start a blog because it's the perfect way of letting your customers or your clients or your viewers get to know you a little bit better. Let them know who you are, what you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to do with your business and share some behind the scenes and then the analytics tools will let you know what's going well and what you are basically wasting your time on, what people are not really reading so much. And if you would like to experience this for yourself as well and kickstart your personal brand, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then you can use the code Jack in the Books at squarespace.com slash jack in the books to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you're ready to launch go for it and I promise you you will never look back so thank you so so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and now da -da -da -da, we don't need to see the receipt I don't want to look at that <laughs> no thank you these are the books that I bought you may notice that this one has Sprayed edges, that's right, bitches. I'm so excited about that. Let's start with this one. This is actually the book that I went into the store to buy, and that is Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake, who I'm pretty sure wrote The Atlas Six, right? Yeah, I will be removing all of these stickers, don't you worry, that's my next job. But Alone With You in the Ether is a contemporary love story like no other. Reagan and Aldo allow us to explore the nature of love, what it means to be unwell, and how to face the fractures of ourselves and still love as if we're not broken. This book is half mystery, half puzzle, and wholly a delight. Olivia Blake is a mind-blowing talent, almost impossible to put down, compelling, entertaining, and addictive, coolly horrific, brilliantly brainy, and utterly compelling. All these reviews sound so good, I have to read this book, I'm so excited about it. Next, we have this book. This is Sour Grapes. I've had this on my wish list for the longest time. Every time I go into the bookstore, I think, I just love it. It's so minimal and understated. I love this cover. Um, and also the back is really beautiful too. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's about a literary festival. So it's kind of like very meta. It's like an author talking about authors. And I recently read Mona by, the author's name escapes me, but a book called Mona, which is also about a literary festival. And it was really good fun. It was a good like romp. So. When the sleepy English village of Greenbottom hosts its first literary festival, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the book world descend upon its leafy lanes. But the villagers are not prepared for the peculiar habits, petty rivalries, and unspeakable desires of the authors, and they are certainly not equipped to deal with Wilberforce Selfram, I guess he's the main character, who wreaks havoc wherever he goes. So there you go. Sour Grapes is a hilarious satire of the literary world, which takes no prisoners as it skewers authors, agents, publishers, and reviewers alike. R.I.P. Jack Edwards found dead after reading this book. So that is Sour Grapes. Next we have Lost the Plot, and this book is actually signed by the author. So that's really cool. Um, let's find the little signature. Ah, there's the squiggle and it says, 
Thank you. That's a nice touch. That's kind of sweet that they wrote thank you in there too. Let's see. Derek offers a powerful imagining of her journey as she moves from Ghana to the UK and navigates parenthood in a strange and often lonely environment, the effects of displacement are felt across generations. Told through the eyes of both mother and son, losing the plot is at once emotionally raw and playful, as Owusu experiments with form to piece together the immigrant experience and explore how the stories we share and tell ourselves are just as vital as the ones we don't. Ooh, I love that. I also love this little design we have going on here. Um, and this is quite a slim little thing, so I think I can probably get through that quite quickly, which I love a short read. I, I, there's something so satisfying about just sitting down and being able to consume like a whole piece of art in one sitting. Um, in fact, this is 140 pages. Yeah, so there you go. That is losing the plot and hopefully I won't be losing any plot. Anyways, next book is this one, Hearts and Bones, Love Songs for Late Youth. I thought that sounded so good because I guess like as a 24 year old, um, I kind of really resonate with people talking about the end of their youth and like the beginning of their adulthood. Hearts and Bones is a book about relationships. It explores what love does to us and how we survive it. A young woman learns to wield her power, leaving casualties in her wake, while a man from a small town finds solace in a strange new hobby. A watchful child feels a breaking point approach as her mother struggles to keep her life on track, and another daughter steps onto a stage while her family and the audience hope that she is strong enough now to take on the world. First time lovers make mistakes, brothers and sisters try to forgive one another, and parents struggle and fail and struggle again. Teenage souls are swayed by euphoric faith in a higher power and then by devotion to desire, trapped between different notions of what might be true. Quiet revolutions happen in living rooms, on riverbanks, in packed pubs and empty churches, and years later we wonder why we ever did the things we did. Set between Ireland and London in the first two decades of this millennium, the stories in Hearts and Bones look at the changes that have, that have torn through these times and ask who we are now that we've brought the old gods down. Witty, sharply observed and deeply moving, these 10 stories announce an extraordinary new Irish literary talent. So, Neve Mulvey, I'm coming for you, baby. I'm very excited about this. And then the final book that I bought is one that now I'm wondering, should I have bought it? I'll explain why. This book is called Trust. Uh, it's by Hernan Diaz. I'm not gonna lie to you, the cover is giving me nothing. Like, I hate a black and white cover with like just one pop of colour because it looks boring. It's, it's not making me want to pick it up. And I know that we shouldn't judge books by their covers, yada yada yada, but we do, we do, we, you know we do. But I've been hearing so much hype about this book, um, recently, and so I really want to read it. Um, and I'm going to. I absolutely am going to. Um, let me read you the blurb. Even through the raw and effervescence of the 1920s, everyone in New York has heard of Benjamin and Helen Rusk. By the way, I just <laughs> realized as I was saying that, that I didn't finish my point. The reason I maybe regret buying this is because I could have just waited for it to come out in paperback. Because I feel like it's not a book I'm desperate to read. Like I'm not urgently hoping to read this book, so I didn't necessarily need to buy it in hardcover. Sometimes I try to avoid buying books in hardcover and I just wait until they come out in paperback but I bought this in hardcover, so that means I need to read it before it comes out in paperback, <laughs> right? Anyway, he is a legendary Wall Street tycoon. She is the daughter of aristocrats. Together, they have risen to the very top of a world of seemingly boundless wealth, all as a decade of excess and speculation draws to an end. But at what cost have they acquired their immense fortune? This is the mystery at the center of Bonds, a successful 1937 novel that all of New York seems to have read. Yet there are other versions of this tale of privilege and deceit. Trust elegantly puts these competing narratives into conversation with one another, an intention with the perspective of one woman bent on disentangling fact from fiction. The result is a novel that spans over a century and becomes more exhilarating with each new revelation. At once an immersive story and a brilliant literary puzzle, Trust engages the reader in a quest for the truth, while confronting the deceptions that often live at the heart of relationships, the reality warping force of capital and the ease with which power can manipulate facts. So that is trust, it sounds so good and I've had a lot of hype for this book. So that is my half price hardback haul. I got some real bargains on these books and I thought I would share them with you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring and I will catch you 
very soon. Bye-bye!